Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to use live UI UI debugging tool in Pega. When you are in any portal or designer studio or when you are running a case, you just select on the live UI button. Say you want to open the section containing this property or containing this drop down or containing such this button. You just click on that button and you click on the I display info panel for this item. So as you can see, this is the section. You can click on this to open the section or also there is another way like you can click on that property and you can directly click on this mirror icon. The tooltip is open in dev studio. Yes, open it. So here you can change the configuration. Say you want to change the country name instead of label as country, you want label as country 2 just for testing purpose. So you can go here. You can see that country 2 has come here. Ideally, you need to refresh it, then only updated code will come here. But I have already configured a refresh action set on this country 2 drop down, and hence I need not refresh from actions tab in this case. So I'm, now I am going to change it back to country. So this is how it works. It is a very useful debugging tool, especially for UI. So as you can see here, the DOM is very heavy. These all are the DOM nested nodes. The reason for such a huge DOM depth is because of the auto-generated code in Pega. As you can see here, topmost, this is the topmost portal. This is a section in that if you want you can open it in the dev studio and see that in that they are calling harness widget studio so this is the studio this is the harness widget studio as you can see In your operator record, when you open the SS group, under you will have the portal. When you open the portal, you can see PJ Studio. They are calling this harness here. This is the same PJ Studio harness. Not only developer portal, but are also other portals. Say for example user let's see user portal or admin studio they are calling a different harness as currently we are in dev studio that is the developer portal pj studio is the harness being called as you can see in our live ui this is entire one is the harness in that harness you can collapse like this in the harness, these are all are the child's children for the harness. There is a section in the harness. Again, you can collapse that section. Next, in this harness, there is a section PJ Studio header. There is another section PJ Explorers. There is another section PJ Studio Container. So these all are the different sections available in PJ Studio harness. Now, if you see our case, it is present in, in the section PY case action area. This is a major node. Generally, depending on the client requirement, sometimes we might override the PY case action area also. Say if they want some level of customization to appear across the cases for that particular customer. Next we have perform harness. So in perform harness only our case will be loaded. I will 
explain about perform review harness perform harness create harness new harness the all things when we come to harnesses topic thank you